and my topic is about embracing vulnerability and how it's the root of strength and courage. So, why is vulnerability important? So, oftentimes, vulnerability is seen as weakness, but without it, it would be difficult to make remarkable changes to our lives. So, a quote from Minnie Menon says that vulnerability is our common space where we shed layers. Um, and in doing so, we find out our truest selves, and it's not weakness, it's a bold, courageous step towards self discovery and growth. So, the lenses I'll be using in this presentation is the ethical lens, the social cultural lens, and the philosophical lens. So, what requires vulnerability? So, acknowledging our vulnerabilities and, be willing to, and being willing to make changes to how we live is a sign of strength. And this is where being vulnerable builds our sense of, of identity. And this is a coordinate name battle. And with courage, vulnerability allows us to embrace our uncertainty and become more resistant in the, in, face, sorry, in the time of adversity. So here are some examples of history where vulnerability is being present um, and how they overcome it. So, <laughs> right here. So in fighting for human rights, um, it's, sorry. The fight for human rights didn't just rise out of thin air. It was a realization of unjust behavior and actions of mistreatment against a group of people. This mistreatment made them vulnerable. The awareness of this vulnerability led to many powerful civil rights activists um, taking charge to put an end to, this, this, to discrimination. So for example, my, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, and Angela Davis are really good examples of people who took um, <clears throat> discrimination and they fought against it and now where we are today. Um, This is also similar to Eloise Cobell Co Co and her being aware of the unethical um, usage of Indian trust funds. This is, and doing s everything in her power to make the unjust behaviors right. And finally, I have a picture of Joan the Art, who was known as a national, who was known, sorry, <laughs> who was known as uh, France heroine as she led the France to victory. Um, in the New or in the Orleans War of 1429. <laughs> um, so this image demonstrates in her face she seems vulnerable, um, but she still has her armor on. She's still ready to fight, and this demonstrates her strength as um, as it's not it's hard to go into battle, and it still takes a toll on. It is the ability to show up and be seen, and it's the ability to be brave, and you cannot, and whenever, you, even though you can't control the outcome. So now, I would like to bring examples of modern day life into the equation. So from the stimuli, I'd like to bring Simone Biles' example of how she was, she was aware of her mental health, and how it was not, um, it was not more important than her competing in, um, the Tokyo 2020 team and individual competition, and she dropped out even though it would make people be questionable and would not um, be good for her, for her reputation. She still dropped out knowing that her mental health is more important than that. And as she said, I was fighting all those demons, I just don't trust myself as much as I used to, and not, the mentality is not there. And this signifies the strength in her still dropping out, although it would be Really, it would mess. It would not help with the reputation. Um, so I just want to ask a question: Has anybody ever taken mental health day? And whenever it comes to work, have you guys ever taken um, just a mental break just to put time to kind of yourself? So with that being said, this demonstrates you guys' um, vulnerability whenever it comes to like overworking yourselves and whatnot and you finding that time to take a break and to really focus on you know, like your, mental, your mental health is a sign of strength although we are um, taught to really focus on on like working and stuff like that and here is a chart that will oh, I'm sorry here's a chart that shows um, an extension of understanding personal limits so as you can see here this chart shows the actively employed Americans, and as you can see, this is them saying yes 
let you know to be taking a mental health day. So as you can see, the majority says that they have taken a mental health day. Um, and this demonstrates again what I was explaining to you guys, um, being, um, showing strength and knowing your personal limits. So why is vulnerability, sorry, why is vulnerability important to us? So the awareness, the awareness of vulnerabilities that we face is being aware of their impacts upon us. So for instance, um, if you don't know that you have a weakness, you can't improve. And that is, I mean, sorry, and recognizing those vulnerabilities is really important for our group. And the dedication to adjust their vulnerabilities is also a sign of strength, because it takes time to fix, um, it takes time to fix the vulnerabilities that we have and to make the adjustments so that we become stronger. And again, finally, the improvements is, again, the dedication, finding time to make adjustments and to get to that final stage of um, solving the vulnerabilities. So, with that being said, what is the issue? The issue, sorry, the issue is that we have, is that, is the inability to um, embrace our vulnerabilities even though it will help us. So, some possible solutions that um, I, I bring, sorry, some possible solutions that um, I've come up with and I've seen is by teaching the importance of embracing our vulnerabilities and <laughs> in incorporating that into lessons and understanding how it's okay to be vulnerable and how it's okay to prioritize, um, to prioritize the adjustments to fix the vulnerabilities. Um, increasing outlets such as therapy, guidance, this will also help um, guide people in the right direction and try to make adjustments to fix their vulnerabilities. Um, a quote I have for you today is that your vulnerability can develop various sources including past negative experiences, childhood, upbringing, social expectations, and cultural influences. So this is why increasing outlets is important because we can go to um, therapy and get guidance as to why it's okay to um, acknowledge these and be okay to embrace these, these vulnerabilities even though it might be a struggle. Um, and finally support which ties these two together in having an understanding and empathy for those who are struggling with being vulnerable in their everyday lives. So some advantages to, this, to these solutions um, for um, so some pros is that this will build awareness of, this will build awareness of the vulnerabilities and how we handle them. Um, it also will promote, promote growth and improvement um, in how we handle the vulnerabilities. And some cons is that it's hard to incorporate these morals into everyday life. And adjusting um, our teaching curriculum into one of the solutions I previously mentioned might be difficult because it might have a bigger, a bigger budget change how people teach and that is going to take some time to incorporate. Um, so in conclusion, it's vulnerability is a recognition of things that we that make us uncomfortable and the ability to tackle these this issue and fix that problem makes us stronger and courageous. So thank you for your time. This is my work started. So we have some questions for you. How valid and reliable are the sources that you used? How do you know which sources did not work? So I tried to get a lot of statistics so then I could use them on my slide. And I did some research prior so then I could have a better understanding of what I'm presenting. And I'm sorry, can you repeat the last part of that question? How do you know which sources did not work? Um, so the sources that didn't work were the ones that didn't really um, tap into modern <coughs> to how we function nowadays. Um, I really wanted to try and um, build like re relatability to the audience and how we like how we function. Like with the with taking the mental health day, I would struggle to find statistics of um, people taking mental health days, um, which is why I had to use the adult version eventually, but it's harder to find um, students who take mental health days and that was hard to incorporate, so I had to sort of Okay. If you had more time, what additional research would you conduct related to this issue? Um, so I brought up about I brought up a few historical figures. I 
wish I'd done a little bit more research on them so I then I could have a stronger argument into how they function, how it incorpor and how my um, topic incorporates vulnerability and strength, and how that sort of ties everything together. Okay, thank you very much.